All right, boys, this is a test because uh, I just got the brand new GoPro and you wouldn't believe it, it's Friday. So we're getting on the fears. I don't even know if this is gonna be a part of the video, but you know what? I may as well try it out. I'm gonna go uh, visit my mate, he's down in the park, and gonna have a good old yarn. I should probably get him a beer. Yeah, I'll get him, I'll get him a beer. Boy. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking shit. love this thing, it's sick. We usually have a few drinks uh, Friday afternoon, finish off the working week, but um, gonna get a, a palmy at the pub. So that'll be pretty damn good as well. Beautiful afternoon, absolutely beautiful. Have a look at this. Good morning everyone and welcome back. It's about 10 past five. Uh, we're gonna go climb a mountain. So we're on the GoPro, if you haven't noticed. Um, so that's pretty exciting. See if we can get uh, some cool shots and we got that uh, that hyper smoothness. So so yeah, let's go uh, wake the neighbors up I don't think the GoPro is actually gonna pick up anything until like it actually gets lighter <sighs> Jack how much further? Just a bit. <sighs> Fucking liar. <sighs> Why did we decide to wake up at five, Alicia? Why? <sighs> For fun. This is so much fun. Well, we're at the top. How was it, Alicia? Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Hey, that's a freaking cool view. You said you had books before, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I used to work here. But these are... What's your name? Jack. Jack Oakenfield. It's so soft. Hey guys, welcome back to the regular video on the big camera. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little mountain climb with the GoPro. That was the first time uh, me using the GoPro. Uh, so I apologize if it was kind of shit, but uh, it'll definitely be a good um, to figure it all out and buy a tripod and buy a few other accessories that we can get for the GoPro so we can uh, attach things to the car and do a few other cool little things with it. So as you know from the previous video that um, I've bought a rear diffuser for the WRX um, from an Australian company that I've really started to like lately and um, pre-ordered that so I'm still waiting for that to come. It says that it's in Brisbane right now so it should be here tomorrow actually. Um, but who knows so definitely next video you will see will be a full rear diffuser install I'm pretty happy about that um, but today I'm gonna take off my rear mud flaps because I'm not gonna have those on with the diffuser I think um, they're starting to look a little bit dicky now like I enjoyed them for a couple of years um, but time to move on time to uh, get a bit of aero in there um, I'm still gonna maintain my front mud flaps because they actually do something for the car because I have wider wheels, wider tires. Um, it's going to stop a lot of dirt and shit from um, flicking up the side of my car and they're pretty, they're pretty unnoticeable. They're black so they kind of just tuck in there really nice and neat in the front there. So I'm going to keep those for now. Um, we're going to take the rear mud flaps off. Um, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem and then uh, yeah, I'd be curious to see how this car actually looks without those rear mud flaps I think it's gonna look really fat
These ones definitely have a lot of dirt and shit in them, so they're kind of hard to get off. <coughs> no, that's it. I'm changing shirts. <laughs> I like this one too much. Okay. There's a bastard. So now that we've got those two uh, little plastic clips off, the next thing we're going to do is try and remove these little screws. We've got one here, one here, and one right up the back here where my finger is. But as you can see, there's not much space for a screwdriver to get in to actually take them off so this mud flap can slide out and then be removed. I'm gonna see if I can try and do something with my socket set. Um, because I think I might be able to get like a 90, 90 degree angle in there and remove them without having to take the wheel off because that's just a pain in the ass. And it should be, yeah, finger tight. Now we should be able to get it off. There we go. Done. You would not believe how much dirt is behind here. I'm pretty impressed with how fat it actually looks at the back. I'm very happy. So check this out. You can actually see the tire coming out now. And the other side. So um, I'm looking forward to putting this aero on, this diffuser. It's gonna look really nice. So next video is going to be the rear diffuser install. Um, if you wanna keep up with any updates with the car, just follow my Instagram right there, zero zero lock. And um, I'll see you boys in the next video. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Ready to race to you. These days are I'm